Hello, what's up, guys? Welcome to our YouTube channel, and it's your guy, I'll call you once again. And today, we are doing a very short tutorial on how to calibrate your um, outdoor photos. And today's tutorial, I'll be giving out a free lookup table, a free that you can actually apply to your images. So, without much ado, let's get into it. Okay, so I have my image loaded already in here in Photoshop for me. and um i will start off by grading this image by adding a bit of before then let me create a duplicate of the background layer this way so i'll create a duplicate i'll create a duplicate of the background layer this way and also would want to add a bit of um contrast to it so first and foremost i will create um uh, levels levels layer yeah and i'll try and add a bit of um contrast to the image contrast and punch to the image okay so our two is fine for me and also here let's see around it's also okay so the subtle i don't know if you can see from here the changes um, I apply to the image by using the levels adjustment layer is very subtle. I don't know if you can see it's very subtle. So this has given the image a sort of a punch to it. And from here, what I would do is also um, add curves, add curves to my image. So I'll first create these three dots on my curves layer. And because I want to, I've already added contrast and I would want to add a bit of um, feed to the image. I'll just pull my blacks up this way, slightly up. So let's say somewhere around this point 10, around this point 10 is okay for me. So before and after of adding the fit to the image you can see the results we are getting right now so we started by um, creating a levels adjustment layer so where you can see the difference the levels adjustment layer give to the image and also the feed we created with the curves adjustment layer yeah so moving on to the next i would want to add um, a selective color adjustment layer to the to the image and what selective color mostly does is um it mostly works with colors it actually targets your colors you want to um tweak or add colors to so let's say um, we have red let me move to this side we have red here over here in the red because selective color is actually targeting um the the colors in the image red here under the red you have cyan magenta yellow and blacks over here so in the reds when what you do is moving the cyan slider up or down would affect the reds in the image by either adding cyan's or you know the opposite of cyan's on the um, color wheel is um, red so it's either you are adding cyan or you are adding reds just as you can see when you move it down you, you are adding reds so that's the opposite of cyan on the color wheel exactly so let's move to the magenta too so in the magenta the opposite of magenta is green when you move to the right side of the slider it means you add the magenta just as you can see in the um, image here showing the real time and when you move the slider down you are adding grays to the image so just as you can see that's what it does okay so and so forth the same thing applies to the yellows you know mostly the skin tone of the human like the subjects i'm having um for this tutorial session are mostly falls within the reds and the yellows once you decide to move the cyan slider up you see it's adding a bit of cyan into the image that's into the yellows and when you move it down it's adding a bit of um reds into the yellows so is that, that's how the selective color works but then um for this uh, color grading tutorial session what i'll do is 
I want to actually um, give it a muted kind of tone to the whole look of the image. So I would target my greens. I would actually want to target my greens. And with my greens, what I would want to do is, uh, because um, I wanted a muted look um, for my, for the overall look of my shots, um, I would actually target my greens. And in the greens, I would want to tweak my yellows. Okay, so the opposite of um, yellow is blues. And because I wanted some sort of a muted um, kind of um, tones to my image, you know, when you add a bit of blues to the greens, it gives it a kind of um, dialed down, uh, muted kind of um, look to it. So what I would do is because the opposite of yellow is blue, I would pull it down this way and it adds some sort of um, blues into my grays as you can see as the before before this way and that's the after before after so it has added some sort of realistic um, blues into my grays which are really pleasing to the eyes for me yeah so that's the before and after and I would also want to target my blacks. So inside the blacks, I would want to add a bit of um, mood to it. Also, what, what I'll do is I will push the slider up a bit to let's say 15. So the overall look is giving me that kind of muted grease. So this is looking very realistic. And um, that's the before and after from the scratch over here. That's the before, after applying all those adjustments to it. Okay, so before then, um, I actually processed this image in Capture One. And I did a bit of um, some tweaks here and there to actually move it in Photoshop to um, actually add the final recipe to the whole, um, to the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, so um, this as you can see, the before and after is being displayed as seen in the in the shot so that's before and that is after that's before and that is after yeah this this is even okay and you can even end it here this image is not retouched and um it's looking good naturally a picture is a picture without retouch this one was shot in the in the grays and i would further want to take this further by adding my uh my lookup tables have actually created which um i'll give it out as a freebie in this um tutorial session so if you actually want um the lookup i'll be using for this tutorial session uh stick and stay to the end of this video and if you have any comments any ideas any um observations any um anything you would want to actually say um in regards to this and um, tutorial session you can leave them down in the comment section and if there is any tutorial to you want me to work on, I'll actually um, do that by I'll be uploading educative videos that would actually help um, creatives to actually level up by learning from each other. So if you have anything you want to say, just leave it in the comment section below. Okay, so that's the before and after of all the adjustments I did. So we have the levels adjustment layer here and the curves. And from the curves, you go to the selective color layer, which um, I added a bit of some muted tones to my grays. I actually like the final look. This was the final look, sorry. I actually like the look so far here. Sorry if um, you hear any kind of um, odd noises. I'm actually by the roadside, and you know, um, there are vehicles passing by, and I can actually. Uh, <laughs> do without that i have to also record this video and put it out here so what i'll do next is i would um, load my lookup table which is my lads so you come over here and you look out look out for color lookup so you select color lookup come here move to load 3d lat okay so i have two lads here but then I'll be going, since I said I'll be going for an overall muted kind of um, look for this 
um, um, shots, I would use my ULS. I will be going in for my cinematic outdoor uh, lookup table, but then we'll let's see how the outdoor board also works. Okay, so wow, this gives me some kind of, um, <laughs> uh, if you know Aboya, Aboya is a Ghanaian photographer and he has this kind of um, vintage yellowish kind of look he actually goes in for when he's on his um his project so this is a kind of look you can actually go in for if uh, definitely i like, wanted to actually settle with this one and uh, what i would have done is to just um dial down the opacity a bit because it's looking a bit stronger here so i'll dial it down to let's say 50 percent and that is fine and that is fine so that's the before i add in the lookup table which is the um the outdoor board and after it's really nice and i can even end here but since i'm going in for a well muted overall look um let me go ahead and load my cinematic outdoor lookup table to this shot so that is my cinematic outdoor color lookup table so that is before that is after and you can see it has given us a moody and a muted kind of look to our image this as you can see so that is the before and that is the after before after so i'll be leaving these um color lookup tables uh, in the description box below you can download them you play around with it and you can also develop your own lats alongside so guys i know this video was very informative and helpful to you it was just a very short color grading story as i decided to put out here and also um i wanted to give something out which is the lookup table uh, to my audience here so um help the community grow by hook smashing the like button and, and also um leaving a comment in the comment section any tutorial video or any tutorial you want me to work on leave them in the comment section don't forget to share to other creatives and also subscribe to this channel and on to the next one charlie we will talk charlie peace